on the Max Air. Max Air and Deluxe. It's the model 6200K. So it's the middle of the road one. Doesn't have the uh, remote control. But it does do the intake and exhaust and the built-in rain shield and everything, which is what I was going for. So, I'm gonna have to uh, do lots of measuring here today to get this centered up. I'm gonna be putting it on this front edge side, right behind the driver's and passenger side seat. And the three panels will be going up on the back part here. So, I did measure, I have enough room, I just have to get this all squared up and measured cut a 14 by 14 inch hole in the roof make sure that's squared up and then I'll be able to seal up the fan and drop it in so I drilled these holes from inside the van to show where my four corners were at 14 inches and then the bigger hole there will be where I can fit the jigsaw in so now I just gotta trace some lines to match up with those uh, those holes and then I'll start cutting I'm about to put a giant hole in the roof. All right, now that I got the edges all filed off, um, I'm just gonna throw a little of this protective enamel on the bare metal on the sides just to give it an extra protection. All right, I built this little frame because if you have a thin roof like in a van, the way that it meets up, you have to have a spacer basically to hold in um, also, I wanted to drill in with the screws into that piece of wood, so I have to recess a little bit because of these flanges, so I'm just going to recess that so this will lie flush. <laughs>
I've got it held into place just so I can check where the flange is gonna line up. Kind of a rigged up system act going on here, but I think it'll do just what I need it to. Now I just ran some beads of caulk on there, some adhesive caulk, and now I'm gonna place it back up so it can uh, adhere onto the roof. Okay, now I got the clamps on and I have the two posts putting pressure on the sides there. And then I'm gonna run a bead of caulk just up underneath these lips where it's a little bit of a gap. I got some in there, but I'm gonna fill that in a little bit better. All right, so I got a bead of silicone around the whole edge on the inside and outside. So that should pretty well hold that in there and kind of reduce any noise of rubbing against the, uh, which it has the kill mat, so I doubt it would, but I just put that in there to kind of seal it up, so. So now, before you do the rest of the butyl tape around the edges and stuff, um, you want to lay this out and pre-drill your holes just so you're not tearing up the butyl underneath it if it happens to be in that spot. And then you'll have all those drill, those holes pre-drilled. And this isn't going anywhere. This is pretty tight into place. Another thing is you want to get an idea of what kind of a gap you're looking at because the top of the van is rounded. So you might want, you know, a couple strips of butyl tape and then you follow up with that lap sealant. So go ahead and I'm just using this butyl sealing tape from X-Fasten that I got on uh, Amazon. Pretty cheap. Um, I can put the link up. So once you get your desired size cut, you just land it on on the top as best lined up with the edge as possible. And I kind of press it on with this th the paper and you pull that paper off. And then you add your next piece. And then once you have it arise just above the flange, because you will want this to squish down with the next piece, so you do want this a little bit higher than the outside um, two ridges here. So now I put a strip of the, the butyl tape on the actual flange. I got two layers on there. That should hopefully provide me a pretty good barrier. I'm going to throw some silicone on the edges here, a good size bead. Actually, it's this decor lap sealant, which seems to be pretty well recommended by a lot of people. So I'll give a good bead there, and then whatever I can't fill in on the outside is just something I'll kind of fill in and smooth over with my fingers. So I'm going to take this tape stuff off. Lay down that bead and then hopefully it'll go on okay. Okay, so now I got a, the lap seal on the inside and the outside to cover up any voids or whatever. So I'll press this on and get it screwed in. Okay, now it's in place and I've pressed it down pretty firmly. So now we just got to put these number 10 screws in. Alright, I have them all mostly snugged in just to where a bead of that silicone is kind of gushing out. So then I'll be able to smooth that over. But first, I'm just going to go over these and hand tighten them. 
I did use a drill just to get it to that point and then I'll uh, I'll hand tighten them to make sure I just don't snap anything okay I got those all tightened down and now I'm just gonna just a plastic bag and I'm just gonna try to run a good solid bead around and I will need to fill in these holes but I just want to see how much silicone I'll actually need in there I think I'm gonna have a pretty good seal because I'm noticing some of this butyl actually coming out the side so I'm pretty sure I got it pressed down really well and now it's just a matter of getting this last seal in and just making it look a little bit nicer Not the cleanest, but I think I can go over it again with a little more silicone just to make sure. Plus, I have to cover up all the screw heads. Alright, got all the screw holes covered up with the lap sealant. Sides look pretty good. It is self-leveling, so it will settle a little bit. So you might have to fill in some spots, but overall, I don't think... There's any kind of water getting in there. Now to put the hood and the fan on. So for this, they recommend is you open up the actual vent. So you gotta pull this knob out. So open this up. And then you'll see where It'll receive these two screws on the side where the uh, the flange is up there. So you'll want to have the vent face backwards so you get the most aerodynamics, and so you're not blowing rain up down into your vent when you're driving. One thing to note is that the hood actually goes on over the top of the metal piece. So this will slide on over the top and then you'll screw these two in on either side. The other thing a few people are saying online is that these clips should just come up just a little bit and it helps line up a little bit better when you're actually placing the hood on. So I'm just going to see how that turns out. Just using the screwdriver just barely pull it up. Just slightly. Alright now that these are lined up comes with these separate screws. They're a little shorter a little bit fatter head and you just put them right into those holes and through the metal and that'll be what that holds it in place all right there you go installed now I just gotta hook up wiring and hopefully it works I mean that wouldn't be the worst part to replace I guess but the hard parts the flange and making sure everything's sealed so yeah should be good